They put on shows like Britain's Got No Fucking Talent. Make every motherfucker think that they've got a spoon in the kitchen and they look good in it. That's them, they'll be a fucking star. Yeah? It's pathetic. The reality is, most people are so utterly inconsequential that they are nothing more than a shite that's grown a pair of fucking legs. That's it. Think about it. Imagine a wee jobby right now, growing a pair of legs out there. A dog does some shit, right? And this little dollop of dog's dirt grows a pair of fucking legs, right? Starts walking down the street. <laughs> Next thing a car goes by and splashes it with a puddle. And the wee jobby starts to dissolve and starts to wash away and ends up going down a drain where a rat notices the passing legs and takes a nibble and then changes its mind. Right, the thing is, that wouldn't make the fucking news. In other news, a little jobby that grew legs fell down a drain and a rat took a nibble of a passing limb. Right, it wouldn't make the fucking news, right? So by you, if you fucking dropped dead right fucking now, it would not make the fucking news. You're completely and utterly inconsequential. You're an utter irrelevance. So, that's how they've got you, divided into your little fucking prison cells, looking at spoons and imagining that you're Brad Pitt. Brad shit, more like. It's fucking ridiculous. So, there is no community, because you're all sitting in watching the fucking telly eating chips. Yeah. There is no community, because you're taught that communism's wrong. Yeah, you're taught that fascism is right. You throw your children into fucking uniforms, to go and fight for trillionaires' ideas that don't fucking benefit you at all. You see your sons coming back with fucking limbs missing, and your daughters with eyes missing, and you're like, that's fucking brilliant. Yeah. You're so fucking stupid, you can only be manipulated by hellishly evil trillionaires. Well, evil's a compliment. They're not actually intelligent enough to be as talented to, uh, to be called evil. They're just pieces of garbage who are pushing idiots as far as they can fucking go, even though those idiots are dragging them off the edge of the cliff with them. They're just too stupid to realise this. Yeah, and they'll teach you that conspiracy theories, oh, and conspiracy theorists, they're all wrong, they're mental, they're the mental ones. <laughs> you know, males conspire against one another in every single arena of life. Every single arena, right? And if you shine a light on it, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist, so what are they? Coincidence theorists? It's all just a big fucking coincidence as we hurtle into the fucking void. A part of the for me and a banana for the fucking home. <laughs> Scarcity, bollocks. It's just motivation. Motivation. Yeah, if we're motivated enough, we can produce more things and share them equally. But, I mean, there is getting too many people on the earth, isn't there? Soon there'll be nine billion people, nine billion pointless jobbies, whose lives and deaths won't amount to a fucking hill of beans. Why don't we just stack them up to the fucking stars and climb up them? And that would be the cheapest way we could get to the fucking moon. Yeah? We'd save on fuel. That's the thing. We have to get the fuck off this planet to further the species, wouldn't it be fucking dreadful if the life and times of Mother Teresa and Einstein and all these wonderful luminaries, yeah, like Mary Curie and Muhammad Ali, all these wonderful people who have come and gone, like John Lennon, yeah, Joni Mitchell who's still here and we don't celebrate her, really. Um, the thing is this, all their lives, all that time, all those wonderful sparkly moments that reflect our species as something more than shite, something worth celebrating, will be lost, gone and forgotten. If we don't do something, if we don't allow ourselves to be led by intelligent people, you know, geniuses, great thinkers, who are fearless and Christ-like. <laughs> Omnibus! Anyway, that's what you're sitting and doing, wasting your fucking life watching EastEnders and shit like that in general. I'm the panacea to futility. Yeah, think about it. You're sitting there and you think to yourself, he's right, you know, 
There's fuck all I can do. Fuck, there's fuck all I can do. What if I wanted to change things? I couldn't. Right? That's exactly how you talk and think. Yeah? A potato that's grown legs. You bastard. And the thing is this, right? There is something you can fucking do. Right? You can... Give me your money. Give the guy some money! Yeah, give me your money. Come on, give the kid some money! No, kid. Give the guy some money for God's sake. You know, give me the money. And I'll fucking do everything for you. You can still sit in the house in the dark. Yeah, it's your penny in the vineyard. It's your roll of the dice. It's doing something, some good. Yeah. I'm going to use capitalism to destroy it. Yeah. Get people to work their way towards a brighter future. Motivate those who are not feckless and sitting in the dark eating chips and dreaming about chocolate. Divided and conquered, hating one another. Yeah, thinking they can fight their way to being right. Females thinking they can distance themselves from all these males and still have this wonderful future. Yeah, that's pointed out to them by heroin addicts. With microphones. So, the panacea to futility is empowering good people. So if you ever see a good person and you know they're not a politician, you know they're not a goofy, inbred, sociopathic, satanic fuck, right? Empower them. Give them your fucking money. It couldn't be worse, right? It could not be fucking worse. If you were to take every single corrupt politician and throw them into the fucking sea, buzz off, right? The thing is this. We could replace them with pop stars. We could replace them with fucking dinner ladies. It wouldn't make any fucking difference. In fact, it would. It would be fucking infinitely better. Infinitely better. If we threw these motherfuckers' balls into the sea, kicked them in the arse, and replaced them all with dinner ladies, it would be better. You could trust a dinner lady. You couldn't trust fucking these goofy fucking jolly hockey sticks as far as you could throw them. Mind you, I could probably throw their balls over the fucking horizon. Yeah. Well, well put them in a sock and just go like that. Yeah, Socrates. <laughs> and the thing is this. Like, man, you're no funny. Get different. I all right, you chubby bastard. The thing is this, right? So what we're going to do is, you're going to give me every single fucking penny you can afford. Right? Make one sacrifice and I'll just do it all for you. Yeah? I don't fucking need to expose myself to walking shites, primitive concept of what it thinks I am egocentrically. Yeah? I don't need to. I can just basically take every single pound that's coming my way and fucking at the moment and spend it on myself. You know, secrete myself away in a country pile somewhere. Yeah? Surround myself by prostitutes and marijuana. I don't need to expose myself to walking shite. Yeah? I don't need to give my money away to starving fucking children. I don't need to help people with brain injuries. I don't need to fucking help people in general with brain injuries. The thing is this. Few champions come along who are brave enough to expose themselves to walking shite. Yeah? This is what you do to them. See that? That's what you do to them. Yeah? What, turn them into gold? Probably. Yeah? So, even if you're a useless common bastard, yeah? You've got money in your pocket and the rules of this particular era's ridiculous game mean I can do good with it. So give it to me. And I shall fucking do it. So you, you've no excuse. You've no excuse to feel futility anymore. None. None whatsoever. Right? Here's another thing for you. Our species, right? The dinosaurs died out 70 million years ago and just left smaller remnants as our atmosphere sloughed off 90% of its previous diameter. And the thing is this, right? Then along came us, you know, from these germ-based ice caves. And we increased our information, our rapid set of knots, 
and we got to this fucking stage here. Now, in all that time, in that 70 million fucking years, everyone was going brilliantly. And, and in the last 70,000 years, bartering and fucking sharing and, you know, right up to this tiny, tiny, tiny wee moment here where some retard invented the concept of money. And it all fucking went tits up after that. It all turned to shit. After 70 fucking million years, it's the last few thousand years of that 70 million is where all the damage was done. So, the rules of the game you're playing by were invented only a few thousand years ago by people who wore fucking nappies round their head. Yeah? People who walked about who didn't have a fucking light bulb between them. Yeah? Why are we playing by the rules invented by people who were so primitive they could lick a mushroom and genuinely write a book about being in league with a deity? It's fucking retarded. We live our lives according to rules invented by bulbless nappy wearers. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But it suits ruthless sociopaths. So it's here to stay. Because you're stupid enough to allow those rules to still oppress you. And you don't need to anymore. Yeah, in America they've all got fucking guns. There's one way of fucking stopping it in its tracks. We could just choose a day and say, after this day, we will no longer play by the rules invented thousands of years ago by people who wore fucking nappies. <laughs> fucking idiots. Right? So, say we make it December the 1st. No, make it December the 4th. Right, 4th my favourite number. And 4th my favourite number. It's no funny, mate. Move on. All right. Right, make it December the 4th. Right? And we just all fucking stop and just come up with new rules. Yeah, we don't have to fucking play by this rule where we're all in debt and our grandmothers must freeze to fucking death. And we must pretend there's scarcity while these motherfuckers are swanning about on yachts smoking fucking cheroots with tarps baking on the fucking bonnet. Yeah. Overlooking the bow of the boat and over the horizon are your children and your children's dreams beyond your wildest expectations. Pitiful. Fucking pitiful. Absolutely pitiful. You don't have to accept that. Yeah. The one thing they can't stand is they have to spend trillions and trillions on your brainwashing. Right? So, along comes someone who tells the fucking truth and it fucking drives them mental. They tend to kill those people. Honest people. Intelligent, honest people who haven't a fucking interest in money, who take all their money and give it away to the fucking starving and, and children who are vulnerable and old people. You know, people who donate their money to worthy causes don't give a fuck about money because they're adults. That's right, adults. There are very, very few adults on earth. There's very few adults in history. I could rhyme them off and it would take about fucking 10 seconds. Right? They're quite remarkable. They're quite memorable, adults, when they come along. Because they don't play silly little games with life. Yeah? It's as simple as that. This is your one and only life. One and only life. Yeah? You shouldn't play games with it. You shouldn't be automatically born a loser to ancient fucking rules that suit insane sociopaths in your one and only life. What? For a quiet life? Yeah. You can't get any quieter than a dark fucking council estate. Especially if you're sitting in a wheelchair. With a sign around your neck. Popularity is overrated. So, the long and the short of it is, sadly, what if your leaders are not evil people at all? Or pseudo-evil people? What if they're just an accurate mirror reflection of what you've become? Yeah? What if they're just the exact same as you? They're just embodying what you have allowed yourself to sink down into being? Yeah? So if you allow yourself to become 
a good-for-nothing, lazy, alcoholic, fucking, work-shy scumbag. <laughs>